I wonder if we're ever going to get that silly car working. I don't know. I'm wondering if we ever should have bought the doggone thing. Gosh, I think we're going to be oh. stuck here for like forever. Oh, I hope um, not. Hello, you young lady. Hi, how are you? Oh, what good. Are you, what are you doing? Well, I'm organizing these hymnals. You see, we have these strings that they can actually mark the pages, and I was just going to be going through sorting. This is just one of the many things that we do here at Redeemer, even during a pandemic. Well, tell us about it. Gosh, I think I will. Well, first of all, we just are in the midst of collecting school supplies for the kids around our community. Some are here even within our preschool. You never know where it's going to happen that somebody needs some extra help. Can you see pencils, glue, pens, anything that you can think of? Oh, it doesn't stop there. Oh, look at here. We even actually are collecting food, canned goods, non-perishable food items, and it's wonderful because this not only goes Ow. outside in our blessing box. Did you happen to see it coming in? I haven't seen special cases since 1985. I wow, don't think I had a filler making it just to make cut everything out oh, all the sugar, oh, but it's still so good. good. It's still good. And also, not only do we do that with the blessing box right by the road, we even have a grocery cart Sunday that wow. we deliver groceries up to sharing God's love. And they're delivered all through the community for people in need. Oh, but it doesn't stop there. No. It, oh, listen, we even been at Christmas time. We oh have my goodness. The giving tree. Okay. It's really cool. Now the giving tree is much better looking than this one, but it's just to give you some idea. But they have this beautiful tree and they have tags and families can pull them off. Some say money, some say gifts. It's wonderful. But because of technology, y'all probably don't know about this, but you can go on the internet. Have you ever heard of that? Internet? Internet. internet. And you can actually go on a special program on the internet and sign up and get your gifts turned in just as though you were here if the church has to close because of the pandemic. Oh, and it doesn't yes. stop there. I oh, think I'm glad we ended up here. Yeah. Look at all we're learning. Well, listen, this Tell is you what, lots is, of good stuff. Oh, out listen, here. it's not. That's not even what? all. Oh, yeah. More? We have a coat drive. A coat oh, drive. Oh, yeah. Listen, oh my goodness. Any good usable coat, and wow. they all we ask is. It's it, kind of like your coat. Yeah, we, yeah. What's even yours? My <laughs> coat. But good usable coats, and it's so nice because we have a box, and they go to anyone, and we collect them for men, women, and children. And we do that from the month of October through January. And they're distributed all through the community. But it doesn't stop there. Wow. Okay. Wow. And listen. Oh, my goodness. also collect men's socks and T-shirts for lunch on the lawn. And it's wonderful. We have so many friends. We call them our neighbors downtown. That Some of them live under a bridge. Can you imagine? Oh. They, you probably didn't have that back in 85. No, we didn't. But we have a good bit of that now. And so we collect socks and we collect t-shirts and we take them down and let them have you know and use them and they're so appreciative sometimes we take money yeah. i mean not i'm sorry sometimes we take food down but we have gift cards and we can donate money to the director so they can buy what they need I, we never give cash i didn't mean that okay and then the last thing but far from the least is we have something called family promise i don't know if you can see my t-shirt but this is the coolest thing. Because of the pandemic and even before, we have families that don't have anywhere to stay because they've lost their homes. They're working, the kids are in school, but they have to have a safe place to stay. And you know what? The area churches allow them to stay for a week at a time in our churches. They stay our they come and stay right here and you have overnight guests. Right here. Yes. In the church. And we bring food. Yes. In the church. Great Scott. And what what better place? You know, I mean, it's the perfect beds. Everything are supplied. They go church to church. And the reason we know that this is such a good program is because look what it says on the back. What does it say? My yes. pastor likes it when I sleep in church. <laughs> and so uh, not about some smile, uh, 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 but I, listen, I'm so glad you stopped. Yeah. Because we don't often have a chance to tell people exactly what we do. It's raining. It is. Well, maybe we can get a lightning strike and we fix that flux capacitor.